Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Friday Night Smackdown. We are here live in Atlanta, Georgia. My name is Jonathan. I'll be your uh, voice for Smackdown for the evening. And here we go. WrestleMania has come and gone. The dust is settled. We are in a new era of the WWE. This past Monday night over on the Powerbomb Inc. YouTube channel, Triple H made his way out to the ring, brought up the new era, and introduced Randy Orton as the Raw General Manager. He stated earlier this week that he'd be stopping here at Atlanta, Georgia, to welcome everyone to Nero here on Friday Night SmackDown, and welcome us the new SmackDown General Manager. Now, who's that going to be? I don't know. I have literally no notes for how this show's going to go. I have been left completely out of the loop. I think that's a bit unfair, but it is what it is. Anyways, the game, the king of kings, the cerebral assassin, Triple H. WrestleMania was one hell of an event, and well, it's all said and done now, and now, now it no longer matters as we get ready for the future here. If you haven't already, make sure you go check out Monday Night Raw over on the Powerbomb Inc. channel. That's where everything got set up. That's where Triple H first made his way out. It was a, it was a, a pretty good show by all means. So I think we're going to do better. But we'll have to see how this goes here tonight. I'll be the voice of SmackDown for the foreseeable future, ladies and gentlemen. And I hope you'll I hope you'll be joining us every single week. And the game looking ready to go. He's hyped. Just like the rest of us are. Crowd waiting in anticipation for what the game has to say. Let's go. Friday night smackdown. Yes, you do, Hunter. Yes, you do. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's been very chaotic for wrestling as a whole, really. Yeah, Logan Paul remaining as United States Champion, for example. Well, what the hell happened? You've got to be kidding me. Oh, come on, that's bullshit. Cody just finished the story, and now he's not even going to be able to defend it? Oh, come on. Damn freaking right, boo. Let's go. Like, that's bullshit. Well, who's it going to be? No! No way!
Holy shit! The American Nightmare! The former undisputed WWE Universal Champion! The man who ended Roman Reigns' 1,000 plus day reign! Cody Rhodes is the SmackDown General Manager? Whoa! Is right! That's huge! Holy shit! What a brilliant pick by Triple H! Oh, this is awesome! Well, the crowd here are just hyped! Oh, there's a standoff. There's a stare down that we've probably won for a long time. Triple H leaving the ring to Cody Rhodes. Well, what's Cody Rhodes got to say? This is awesome. I am 100% okay with working for Cody Rhodes. 100%. Unfortunately, yes. And I, I'm glad you didn't say no, Cody. I really am. That's right. SmackDown is the show. I mean, ladies and gentlemen, I'm trying to be unbiased, but he's right. I mean, come on. We have the better roster. Let's go. Okay. All right. I'm excited to see that. It, provided they're even on this show. They might be over on Monday nights for all we know. Alrighty, all right. First, uh, first show championships all been vacated. No uh, startups like Monday Night Raw had with Logan Paul. But what's gonna be the first uh, pay per view? No mercy! What? You gotta be kidding me! You have got. To be and here he comes making his way to the ring. And Seth Rollins taking in the fan reaction and already running his mouth at Cody.
Okay, okay, Seth. Uh, of course, Seth is running his mouth about Punk when Punk's not here. Yeah, Sam Punk was exempt from the draft from what I've heard, but Monday Night Raw signed him. Seth Rollins versus Sami Zayn in the first championship scramble qualifier? Let's go. And Seth very quick to leave the ring. Okay. Okay. So Pretty Deadly versus Alpha Academy. Okay, let's go. Let's go. This is going to be awesome. gentlemen we are back live here on friday night smackdown Cody rose has left the ring and we're getting ready for our opening contest this is a WWE championship championship scramble qualifying match between Sami Zayn and seth freaking rollins Sami Zayn, he's had a bit rough in the main event scene over the last couple years but tonight would be the ultimate way to kick things off secure his spot in the main event of no mercy in a championship scramble match for the coveted WWE Championship. Monday Night Raw has claimed rights to the World Heavyweight title, which is why we have the WWE title, but that's all right. We all know the WWE title is the prize to win in all of sports entertainment, and it makes the most sense that it is on the show. Along with that, as Cody Rhodes mentioned, SmackDown has exclusive rights to the women's division. Monday Night Raw, however, has the Cruiserweight title. So it's going to be interesting how those things go around. But here we go, making his way to the ring next. He is the visionary. He is the revolutionary. He is Seth freaking Rollins. And Seth already coming out here. Already starting with his mocking of Cody Rhodes. Mocking of CM Punk. His cockiness is to a new extreme. And we're going to see how this goes for him. We can see the knee brace on. Seth has been sporting that knee brace. He sported it at WrestleMania. It's going to be intriguing to see uh, 
if his knee holds up every week for as long as he has it. As he makes his way out here looking ready to go. Seth would love to be able to start off his time on SmackDown competing for the WWE title at No Mercy. And a victory here tonight on the debut episode of SmackDown this new era would be the best way to start things off, especially if you're Seth Rollins. Seth looking good, sporting the blue and white, sporting, sporting SmackDown, you know, uh, showing his colors. Doesn't change the fact that he can be a slimy bastard at times. And Sami Zayn, of course, repping, you could count that as Raw, but we all know he's representing Canada. As Seth with a big drop kick to start the match off. And already, with a cross face. And Sami getting out of it, kick to the gut. Springboard taking down Seth Rollins here in the opening match. And oh, as Sammy dropped and walks into submission, but oh, rope break. Referee calling the rope break on Seth Rollins. And Sammy with the punches and a stomp to the gut of Seth. Slamming the arm onto the mat. And Sammy some vicious punches to Seth. Sammy not holding back here in the slice as he misses that drop kick. And Seth with the neck breaker. And Sammy picking up Seth with a scoop slam, body slam, whatever. As he drops Seth down. And you know, th this is a huge match for both these guys. They have an opportunity here to show Cody Rhodes what they can do. Show SmackDown fans what they can do. Big elbow from Sami Zayn. Winner of this match securing their spot in the main event of No Mercy. Give me for the W title. Oh, trip. Seth Rollins with a pedigree. Shades of Triple H as he covers him, hooks the leg. One, two, and Sami Zayn kicks out at two. And Seth with a huge uh, springboard. And then we'll take a look again. Seth with some punches to the face of Seth, uh, Sammy. And it hits him with the pedigree. It covers him. And that that could have been it. But Sammy still managed with a big kick out here. As we move back out here. And look at this. Big springboard from Seth. As we move back into the arena. As Sammy on the offense on the outside of the ring. Kick to the back of Seth Rollins. And a kick to the gut. And oh! Sammy! Sammy with an impressive maneuver on the outside floor. And a kick to the gun. DDT by Sammy Zayn to Seth Rollins. Whoever he's at, I count at six. If these two don't get back in the ring soon, we're going to be seeing a double count out. Set the forearm and a punch. And he throws Sammy into the barricade. And Sammy looks winded. The rest of the counter, no way. Oh, and Sammy just, just regained his composure. As the ref hits the count of 10, as Seth celebrates. Here we can see again the pedigree. That we thought would have been, that could have been the end. But maybe that took a bit more out of Sammy than we thought, maybe. And then, of course, the, the count out there. Well, I, I guess congratulations, Seth Rollins. He's headed to no mercy.
And Cody Rhodes laying down the law here. Not allowing Tiffany to have any free passes as we move into some tag team action here. Kit Wilson, Elton Prince, pretty deadly. Making their way out to the ring here. Now, don't let the looks fool you. These two come out very arrogant, very flamboyant, but they are very, very dangerous. The name Pretty Deadly isn't just a, isn't just a fun name. Own Prince the Blonde, Kit Wilson with the black hair. These two have a lot of arrogance in them, a lot of cockiness. But when they're in that ring, they are a threat. As they make their way out to the ring here. Not to the warmest of reaction, but it's okay here on SmackDown. As the winner of this match will go on to face the winner of next week's tag team match. Uh, to face uh, uh, No Mercy for the WWE Tag Team titles. There is no more Raw and SmackDown branding for the titles, by the way, ladies and gentlemen. Monday Night Raw on Friday Night SmackDown will be bringing in just probably going old school with the World Tag and the WWE Tag. None of this Raw SmackDown tag stuff. We are fully splitting away from everything that was before with the brand split. This is fresh, this is new. It's pretty deadly, just they're having fun here. But the new Alpha Academy, Chad Gable and Drew Gulak. That's right, no more Otis, no Maxine, no Akira Dezawa. Drew Gulak and Chad Gable. That is a team to be reckoned with, I will say. Gulak is an underrated talent. He's very technical. He's very good in the ring. And I think he's going to work well with Chad Gable. As Alpha Academy here making their way up to the ring. Gable also one of the more underrated wrestlers. A technical wrestling beast. As he looks ready to go here. And Gulak just warming himself up as Chad is psyching him up here. This is sure to be a great matchup. Chad puts his hand up. Gulak giving us more, uh, Chad giving Gulak some more words of encouragement here as we get ready for this tag team match. Pretty deadly Alpha Academy. The winning team goes to No Mercy to compete for the tag team titles. Who is it going to be? And Chad Gale ends with a punch to the face of uh, Kit Wilson there as he slams him down on the mat. And oh, big move from Chad Gable. Chad is a talent that many fans have gone behind over the years. Many have gone behind. Oh! Kit Wilson with a, a punch just to Drew Gulak. First for the second. Oh, and a bit of a double team there from Alpha Academy. But Chad Gable's had a lot of fan support over the years. Many believing he's underrated, underutilized. Nope. Chad with a nice move there. Kick stomp on the face. Ellen Prince and Chad Gable going back and forth, back and forth here. A nice takedown by Chad Gable. And there he is, the uh, thank you. And look at this again, just the athleticism of Chad Gable here shown in a minute. Beautiful maneuver. He works on the leg of Elm Prince. A punch to the face.
An Irish whip. And Elton Prince. Oh, tried getting out of it. Takes down Elton Prince. And Elton hits the tag on Kit Wilson. And now Wilson with a takedown on Gable. Yeah, well, you don't generally see a good taken down like that. You're generally pretty good at countering those. And a takedown by uh, Kit Wilson here. And he takes Elm back in. And oh, now Drew Gulak finally getting in the match. And oh! Elm Prince not wasting any time. But here we see that beautiful takedown again by Kit Wilson. Something you don't really expect to see out of him. And here, uh, this Elton Prince just taking off Drew Gulak's head with that spinning uppercut. And meanwhile, back in the ring here, Gulak with submission hold locked on. If Elton taps out, it's over for pretty deadly. No, he breaks out with the elbow to the face and drops him down. As Gable getting up on the outside of the ring. Elton Prince picks up Gulak, turns him around. Pour him to the back. Locks him in, uh... Crossface chicken wing, I believe? I'm not entirely sure. Oh, elbow to the face by Drew Gulak. Oh, Gulak ducks down. Back body drop! As he throws him down, covers him, hooks like one, two, and uh, Ellen Prince kicking out two as Kit Wilson went in for trying to make the save. But would he have been too late? We don't know. As Gulak throws him over the top rope. Punch in the face and a drop kick to Ellen Prince. And oh, oh! And he hits the same on Kit Wilson. Dropping both members are pretty deadly. Let's take a look at this one more time here from a better angle. We had a, a pinfall attempt in the ring there, but uh, Ellen Prince kicked out. As Gulak throwing him over the top rope again. Both members are pretty deadly out on the floor. Drew Gulak picking him up. Kick to the gut by Ellen Prince. And oh, big clubbing blow to the back of Gulak's head. Uh, Ellen Prince's head by Gulak, I'm sorry. And I'll work on the arm of uh, Kit Wilson here. And a big clothesline from Elm Prince to True Gulak. You know, Gulak falls out right above, right in front of the ring here. Are we about to witness another count out victory? We're on a count of nine here. And oh, both men getting back in the ring just barely. An uppercut from Elton Prince as he works on the neck of Drew Gulak. Oh, he goes for the cover, hooks the leg, one. Drew Gulak a quick, quick kick out at one. And a tag in between Pretty Deadly. And a big takedown by uh, Kit Wilson here. Gulak getting out of the way. Gulak really trying to show his uh, athleticism and Making sure his strengths to Chad Gable, trying to impress him, make sure that Gable doesn't regret bringing him into Alpha Academy as he tagged Chad Gable back in here. And so far, Gulak, I think, has had a pretty impressive performance. And Gable to punch Ellen Prince, and another, but Ellen Prince counters it as Kit Wilson watching on the outside of the ring. And look at Ellen Prince's cockiness filled. And oh, uppercut from El uh, Kit Wilson. What's he going for here? A suplex, it looks like. Oh, but Gable, Gable gets out of it and goes for an attack on the back of the leg. And a big power bomb there. Gable slamming him face first in the turnbuckle. And here we go, some tag team action here by Alpha Academy. Oh, no, nice, nice move by Gulak. 
And Gula. Oh, Wilson count counter it. He saw it coming. Gulak, oh, right on the knee. As Gable watch from the outside, seeing how his uh, new Alpha Academy member fares. And Alpha Academy jumping off the air, Brazil and Prince gets tagged in here. No! Oh, Gulak! Gulak, Mr. Mitchell! This could be it! This could be it! If Alan taps out, that's it! Alpha Academy's head to no mercy. Oh, no, he gets out of it. Alan gets out of it and kicks to the back of Drew Gulak. Oh, Gulak with a kick to the gut. And he locks in the submission hold again. We've seen this earlier. Gable trying to make sure that Kit Wilson couldn't get in to break it up as Elm Prince just gets out of it on his own. Punch to the gut by Gulak. And another and a chop and a punch. No! Drops him on the mat. Oh, slam him down on the mat again. No oh, big boot by Ellen Prince. He covers him, hooks the leg. Gable in there to break it up nice and quick. Ellen Prince head to the top rope. Big leg drop. You know, Gulak, oh, Ellen countered it. You can see the bruising on Gulak's face. He's taking a bit of a beating here, but it's okay. And oh, big clubbing blow by Ellen Prince to Gulak. Gulak getting out of the way. Big boot by Gulak. Picks him up. Nice neck breaker by Drew Gulak. And he hooks the leg. But Kit Wilson uh, quick to break it up. And what's Gulak sent up for here? And oh, he locks it in again. He locks it in again. Oh, oh I, I think Elm Prince may have been close to tapping out there. Kit Wilson did not save the day. I think Ellen was done for. No, elbows to the gut by Ellen Prince to Drew Gulak. Let's get Wilson back on the apron. You know, Prince showing some aggression here, punches to the gut. You know, big clothesline from Ellen Prince to Drew Gulak. Big knee to the face of Gulak. It's a club and blows now. Ellen, I don't think, took too kindly that submission hold. As he tags in Kit Wilson. Elbow drop by Kit Wilson and Drew Gulak. Nope, he misses the elbow. No! Oh, Gulak now getting his revenge finally and taking him down after earlier. Or well, getting revenge for Chad Gable, I should say. As he works on the arm here, Kit Wilson. We're going to back and forth tag team match here on SmackDown. It's Gable back in the ring. They lock up. Gable takes the advance, throws him into the corner. No! Wilson getting out of it with an elbow to the face. Takes him down. Knee to the face of Gable. And oh! Wilson with a nice spine buster there as he hooks the leg. And Gable kicking out too. Grew like a bit late there, but it's okay. And oh, stunner on the ropes there by Wilson and Gulak. Probably getting revenge for earlier. The fans here in Atlanta chanting tag team wrestling. Getting some solid back and forth action here. Both teams fighting for the same goal. No mercy. He drops down. Back body drop. And he tags in Elton Prince here. 
Now I wonder how much more these two teams have left to give as he takes down Chad Gable with the sidewalk slam of sorts. No, nope. Gable breaking out of it. Elbows to the gut. No, Gable missing that. Gable just out of it there. Trying to catch his breath for a moment. A big pot of uh, powerbomb of sorts. As he tags back in Drew Gulak. And now Prince getting clothesline into the corner. And Kit Wilson punching chat, uh, Drew Gulak. Kick to the gut by Gulak. And another, and another, and another, and another, and another. Drew just stomping a mud hole in Ellen Prince. As he works on the arm. He tags in Chad Gable. We're working on a leg of Ellen Prince. Nope. Ellen Prince with the elbows the gut and another. And a suplex from Ellen to Chad. Another tag out by Pretty Deadly. Lots of tagging in and out we've seen in this match, back and forth. All four men have really had a time to shine here on SmackDown. Oh, right into the ring post goes uh, Kit Wilson. Gable throws him up and slams him down. What goes up must come down, ladies and gentlemen. Gable throws him into the corner. And oh, Wilson getting out of it. Oh, big spine buster once again. Throws him, hooks the leg. Gulak quick with the kick out. And tag out by Pretty Deadly. As Gable once again throwing him into the corner. And a forearm to the back. Oh, slams him down on the mat just like he did Kit Wilson. And throws him into the turn. Uh, corner again. And Gable uh, working on the arm there. On some pain to that shoulder. And for a third time, Gable does that to Pretty Deadly. Oh, and big slam throws him just like he's nothing. And Gable tagging in Drew Gulak. And that stomp on the face of Ellen Prince by Gulag. That's not good for a uh, pretty deadly spatial structure. Considering a lot of their uh, stuff is based off their looks. And Gulag! Gulag with the submission hold! Ellen let go of the roll. Oh! And Kit Wilson was just too late. Ellen Prince could not fight back. He wanted out of that as quick as possible. And he started tapping out nice and fast. As Kit Wilson here, we see on the replays here with that beautiful takedown, Chad Gable. And of course, this is where Ellen Prince stand here took Gulak's head off with that spinning uppercut. Here, this is where it could have been over earlier. This, it could have been over earlier had Kit Wilson not broken it up. But then of course, it was not, history did not repeat itself. And you see Gulak with the ring awareness 
made sure to move Ellen away from the ropes as Alpha Academy celebrating the huge victory as they are headed to No Mercy to compete for the WWE Tag Team Titles. Congratulations to Chad Gable. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Friday Night Smackdown. And before we continue on with the show, on behalf of myself, Cody Rhodes, and the rest of the Smackdown locker room, we would like to thank you for tuning in here tonight and joining us on what's been a fantastic event. But there's something we would like to announce. San Antonio, Texas, you will be getting a huge two-night event from the SmackDown brand. We'll be kicking things off with the Go Home Show to the No Mercy pay-per-view event. You'll get that right in your beautiful city. And then you will, of course, also get the No Mercy pay-per-view event itself. It's shaping up to be a great one. It's the first pay-per-view in this new era, in the Cody Rhodes era. You're not going to want to miss it. Buy your tickets as soon as you can. I'm pretty sure they're releasing tonight. And finally, we would like to help promote Echoes the Fall for the official SmackDown theme song, Burn It Down. Go and stream it, check them out, do everything. It is, this is going to be a theme song for the foreseeable future, and it is a great song. Now, let's get on with the show. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back live here on Friday Night SmackDown as we're getting ready for the Intercontinental Championship qualifying match. And it's going to be Xavier Woods versus Apollo Crews. Now, for those who checked out Monday Night Raw, you know Big E and Kofi Kingston made their big in-ring return on Monday night. Specifically, Big E with the grand return. And Xavier looking to continue the New Day's uh, success as the New Day did win over on Monday Night Raw. And Xavier here looking to continue the success of the New Day here as he's looking to go out on a solo run. And a new day keeping uh, Xavier's uh, enthusiasm alive. They had their own trombone on Monday night. And here we go. Xavier Wood just playing it for the crowd. He puts it down here. Paul Cruz is not a person to be taken lightly. Neither is Xavier Woods. You know, a lot of people look at Xavier Woods, you know, they see the YouTube channel, they see the colors, they see the New Day gimmick and think he's to be underestimated. He isn't. He's a former king of the ring and he could be a future Intercontinental Champion. But speaking of the Intercontinental title, Apollo Cruz making his way to the ring. He's, he's a threat. He's a force to be reckoned with. You don't want to take him lightly. He's got an amazing athletic ability. He's strong. He's tough. He's got the whole package to be a star here on SmackDown as he makes his way up to the ring. Apollo looking ready to go. And ladies and gentlemen, I would like to take a quick moment and thank you for joining us here tonight on SmackDown, supporting the show, supporting the whole shebang, everything. It's been great. And we still got another huge matchup as it's going to be Finn Balor versus Sheamus. For the final WWE Championship qualifier of the night. But we're here to focus on Xavier Woods. Apollo Crews. The bell is rung. And oh big DDT by Xavier Woods. And just look at this. Big start by Xavier. And meanwhile back in the ring. And oh. Apollo already showing blood. And Xavier taking down Apollo. Paul must have gotten busted open off that DDT. And Xavier, the neck breaker of sorts to Apollo Crews. Kick to the gut. Oh, big move by Xavier Woods to Apollo. And oh, Xavier, the beautiful short suicide dive to the outside of the ring. 
taking out Apollo. And Xavier throwing Apollo into the ring. As here we go. There's that beautiful suicide dive again from Xavier. Xavier's quick. He's fast. He's dangerous. And a forearm to the face by Apollo Crews. He covers him, hooks the leg. One. And Xavier with a kick out at one. And oh, beautiful standing uh, moonsault or whatever. Flip. And a drop kick to the back of Xavier Woods by Apollo Crews. A punch to the head. He picks up Xavier Woods for a power bomb. Yes. And oh, right on the mat. Nice and hard. As the ref goes for uh, counts, as Apollo went for the cover, not the ref goes for the cover. The ref does the counting. And a forearm to the face by Apollo Crews to Xavier Woods. And another beautiful move, but Xavier gets the knees up. And a kick to the back of Apollo. And he takes Apollo down. And a big uh, jumping punch to the face by Apollo. And oh, punch to that face by Xavier once again to Apollo Crews. And I think Xavier notes he split Apollo open. He's trying to make it worse on Apollo. Xavier's showing him more of an aggressive side, something we don't usually see from him. He stomps on the arm of Cruz. Heads to the top rope. And a big elbow drop from Xavier Woods as he covers him, hooks the leg. And oh, and Apollo with the big kick out of two. And the fans already chanting fight for error. The fans are already behind this matchup. Forearm to the face of Apollo Cruz by Xavier Woods. Xavier not sure what he wants to do here. Bounces off the ropes. Oh, takes Apollo down with a beautiful move. And a stomp to the gut. And you see, you saw there for a second, that cut's getting worse. On the face of Apollo. And what's Xavier going for here? And another suicide dive, but this time Apollo gets out of the way of it. As he throws Xavier into the ring here. And oh, big knee from Xavier was to the face of Apollo Cruz taking him down. And working on the leg. Oh, and the ref sees the rope break as Apollo grabbing the rope. The ref in perfect position to call it there. And Xavier trying to psych the crowd, trying to get them hyped here. And oh, bumps into each other. And oh, and Xavier with the big clothesline. And another. Ducks under. And a big drop kick from Xavier Woods. As he's hyped up here. And a couple punches. Turn around, splits. And takes him down hard with a punch. Xavier head to the top rope. Massive elbow drop. Covers him, hooks the leg. One, two, three. And Xavier Woods is headed to no mercy to compete. For the Intercontinental Championship. Let's look like at some of the highlights from this matchup here. Xavier instantly with that beautiful springboard DDT cutting a cruise open. But Paul hit him with this beautiful power bomb. Went for the cover, but that was not it. Not even close. Throws him into the ropes and just big bump into each other. And Xavier follows it up with that clothesline. And another showing off this just speed of Xavier. Big drop kick. And here we go, the punch, the punch, and the splits, and then one more for good measure. Followed by the elbow drop to end it all. One, two, three. And Xavier Woods headed to no mercy to compete for that coveted Intercontinental Championship. You'll love to see it.
Congratulations, Xavier. Ladies and gentlemen, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you've enjoyed the show so far. The support will mean a lot to us. But also, if you want to support us, support SmackDown, support the channel, go follow us on Instagram at Superkick Theory for all news, updates, polls, and more. You may get to decide a couple matches. You'll get exclusive updates only seen on there. Early release of content. Everything will be over there. Make sure to go follow us. And turn those post notifications on. And we do answer DMs, so if you'd like to talk to us, we're always available. Anyways, thanks for the support, and I hope to see you there. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back here on Friday Night SmackDown, and it is time for the main event of the evening. We saw Seth Rollins earlier on tonight get the countout victory over Sami Zayn and secure his spot in the championship scramble match at no mercy. But here tonight, we're about to see which one will be joining him. Finn Balor representing the Judgment Day or the Celtic warrior Sheamus. Balor looking ready to go, looking fired up. Well, this is going to be a big match here. It's been a, an amazing night so far. Kicked off with huge announcements from Triple H and Cody Rhodes. Followed up with a quick but fun match between Sami Zayn and Seth Rollins. Then that absolute banger tag match between Alpha Academy and pretty deadly and then we just saw a new side of Xavier Woods in that hard name match with Apollo Crews and now we're getting ready for the main event which is sure to be a fun one and Finn looks ready to go he looks fired up he's intense Finn leaning up against the ropes, looking out at the crowd. Finn. Finn is one hell of an athlete. He's very talented. Many believe he's been screwed over by the company before, but under Cody Rhodes' management, we're going to see how that goes. He was the inaugural Universal Champion, but unfortunately had to vacate it, and he never seemed to find his way back to the top. Could that change at No Mercy? We'll have to wait and see if he can even make it there tonight. Meanwhile, making his way to the ring. The Celtic Warrior, Sheamus. And he's ready for it. It's tonight is fight night. As Sheamus looking ready to go. Sheamus, no stranger to the WWE Championship. Won the WWE Championship very quick in his career once he made it up to uh, Monday Night Raw defeating John Cena in a tables match for it. As he makes his way out here. I believe he's the first Irish born WWE Champion. If I am correct, I might be wrong. But Sheamus has a history with that title. Both men have history with the World Championship. Both men want to go back to the top. Both men want to reach that main event status one more time. And the bell is rung here. And both men lock up. Both men lock up again. And now Finn takes the advantage. Takes him down. Bounces off the rope. Drop kick to the head of Sheamus by Finn Balor. Yeah. And the offense continuing on here. And the referee on the count of two is two going back and forth on the outside of the ring. And Sheamus, uh, Balor throwing Sheamus into the ring. And oh, Pele kick by Finn Balor. Kick to the leg, kick to the leg, kick to the leg. No, kick to the gut by Finn Balor's Sheamus. Throws him into the corner. 
And oh, big clothesline from Sheamus to Finn Balor. No, oh, Finn getting out of it. Kick to the leg, kick to the leg, kick to the leg. And a kick to the gut by Finn Balor once again. And Finn with an elbow to the chest of Sheamus. And Finn, oh, Sheamus throws Finn to the outside of the ring. And oh, Finn. Oh, Sheamus with the punches of the gun face. And wasn't sure what he wanted to do there, but oh, Sh uh, Finn counter now with punches of the gut. Forearm to the face. Forearm to the face. Swing blade by Finn Balor to the Celtic Warrior. Throws him into the ropes. And oh, arm drag by Finn Balor to Sheamus. Punch to the face, punch to the face. Oh, forearm to the face by Finn Balor to Sheamus. An elbow to the face by Sheamus. And a, a club and blow. And oh, uppercut. And a big clothesline from Sheamus. And a club and blows. And oh, Balor countering. Kick to the leg, kick to the leg. Balor with some quick offense here for the Celtic Warrior. Another Pele kick by Finn Balor to Sheamus. Throws him into the ropes. And oh, takes him down again. Oh, Sheamus kicked to the back of the leg by uh, Sheamus and Finn Balor. Some punches and an uppercut by Sheamus. No, oh, Sheamus misses uh, the knee as Balor kicks him in the face. Balor the springboard uh, move there. Springboard splash. Chop to the chest. Punch, punch. And another. And another. Finn Balor and Seth Rollins themselves have a lot of history. So I think Finn would love the opportunity to be able to possibly beat Seth for the WWE title once again. This time though he's going to have to deal with three other men. But Sheamus would also love that opportunity to dethrone him as a big knee to the face. The dethrone uh, Seth Rollins cockiness is momentum, if you will. Oh, kick to the face by Finn Balor. Kick and another and another. And a Pele kick by Finn to Sheamus. And oh, I think I see some blood. I think I see some blood on the Celtic Warrior. Yeah, I can see it right there on the side of the head. The Pele kick split him open. Look at Finn just working on the legs. And another Pele kick to the Celtic Warrior. And another kick. And another. And a third Pele kick. And we're almost in a row. And he throws Sheamus into the corner. Oh, Sheamus blocks the kick to the gut. Uppercut by Sheamus. And I think Sheamus knows he's bleeding and he's taking that anger out on Finn Balor. And a punch to the gut, punch, and another, and another, and another. Sheamus just letting go on the blows. Uppercut just not holding back. Oh, and he slams Finn down onto his onto his knee. And as we get a moment here, that Pele kick there that split the Celtic Warrior open. As we see it again, slow motion that right there, just brutal. And oh, Finn went for the springboard drop kick. Sheamus counter and clotheslines him. And he picks up Finn Balor. And a punch to the gun. You see that blood just flowing down the face of the Celtic Warrior. And a kick and another and another. And a kick to the gut. And another kick to the gut. And Finn with a beautiful drop kick. And a 
throws Seamus against the ropes. Arm drag. And Finn's head to the top. Finn's head to the top. Big splash. I thought he was going to go for the coup de grace, but he decided against it. As he picks Seamus up, stopping him from rolling away. No, big 1916, I believe Finn Balor calls that. As he hooks the leg and Seamus' foot. Well, I was going to say, Seamus' foot seems like it may be under the rope, but the referee couldn't see it. Thankfully, though, it did not end the match there. So Seamus did not get screwed with a couple kicks to the leg. And a chop, and a chop, and a chop. And another kick, and another kick. She Finn just mix up the kicks and oh, big clothesline from Sheamus. And oh, Finn getting out of it. Finn getting out of it. And a big clothesline from Finn Balor to the Celtic Warrior. And it's Finn taking a minute here to catch, catch his breath as we look back here. Big splash from Finn Balor. Oh, and Sheamus getting back in the ring now. A forearm to the face by Finn Balor. He punches in a chop and a kick to the gut. And our drop kick to the face of Sheamus. And elbow to the leg of Finn Balor by Sheamus. Punches. And slams him down hard on the mat. No, Seamus, Irish Curse backbreaker, and the bro kick. No, wait a minute, Seamus. Wait, what the hell? What the hell is Dominic doing here? No, Seamus making sure to take care of Dominic. Good on you. No, wait, bit with the roll up. Bit with the roll up. One, two, no. Thanks to the interference by Dominic Mysterio, Finn Balor sneaks away with the victory. Oh, there's the Pele kick that split Sheamus up, but Sheamus had that match won. See it right there, the beautiful bro kick. But Dominic just had to stick his nose in, in where it didn't belong. And Sheamus made him pay for it, but unfortunately suffered a loss at the hands of it. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to say thank you for joining us here on Friday Night SmackDown. I hope we'll see you next week, and I'm sure Sheamus is not going to let this go. But thank you for watching, ladies and gentlemen, and good night.